The early 2000s was a great time for women's wrestling, but it didn't happen overnight. China left the company and she was champion at the time. So there literally was no women's championship, nor was there division for a little while there. So there was no, there was nothing to work towards. Luckily, they had a handful of women who were excellent workers at the time. So this was really, it was, a, it was a very important moment for all of us because we were bringing the title back. We now have these very capable workers and we finally had a viable women's division. Growing up watching wrestling, watching Trish and Lita, Molly Holly and Jazz and Victoria, it was so entertaining. Our mission was to change the way women were perceived in this business. We had women that began to trickle in from different backgrounds and they all brought different flavor but everybody could manage in the ring. We had girls that all looked different and all were beautiful. Everybody had a different flavor but everyone could compete. So it was a real honor to be part of that scene. I think it was just like, you know, the beginnings of a new era and it really was. I mean, it was the first time, you know, we'd seen a lot of women in the, in the company for sure but this was the first time you have this handful of women can do some awesome stuff in the ring sit up and take notice and watch us. It was more so about changing the role of women in that they can still be feminine, yet tough. Seeing the women do what they did, they're not just hot chicks standing on the side. They're amazing athletes. They're a draw to the business, and it made people want to come and see the wrestling, not just for the guys, to see what the girls can do too. to be a WWE diva, I knew that I was going to be in store for a lot of crazy things. When we were starting to make that transition to like, we're going to fight like guys, like we're going to have real matches, they wanted us to fuck out. Looking back, I just never felt like that was who I was. Trey Stratus and Hot Lino, Jazz and Victoria, those girls stepped out of the box a few times had to pull back in because the company was I mean, not treating them like professional athletes. They were trying to molly cuddle the girls. At first it was really hard to accept. We wanted to get really intense and we wanted to get respect from the boys. In reality, we are a handful of women. We've all come in from different backgrounds. We're all still competing for the eight or ten minutes of that two-hour show to be chosen to be in a match. From a female perspective, to actually go in and compete, there wasn't too much opportunity. We were lucky if we got a spot. We didn't have a lot of time. There was a very long list of, we can't do that, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do any of the things that the guys ever do. So we were rooting around and wanted to make sure that we had what we wanted to do out there. that goes into making a match great. Magnificent people. It really started to show that they had faith in the women because the perception was changing for women's wrestling. And they brought legitimacy back to the women's championship. Everybody's athletes and everyone gets to showcase that they're an athlete and that's just it's amazing. It's how it should be. It certainly began a movement for the Divas to evolve into something that was not just wrestlers, not just models. It was like the perfect melding of both. We were on top. The women were viewed as like strong, confident women doing our thing out there just like the men were. And it made me hungrier to go out there and not only for myself, but for all of us, for all of us women to have a platform for us to actually do what we do out there and, and show that the women have a place in this world more than just being identity. 